In this video, we are going to talk about reference blocks and reference areas, and they're found up here on your sketch toolbar. So the reference areas can be used on a roof. Uh, I'm just gonna grab the area there, left click, hold, and drag. And you can pull in here an area that you might want to see maybe used for a skylight. Um, now this will deduct the material of course from the roof below this reference area. If I go to its properties and tell it to act like a hole, so behavior, hole, yes, and it will create a hole in the roof for something uh, such as a skylight application or maybe the chimney comes up through this uh, hole here and you don't want to calculate that square, square that um, piece of the roof. So that's one thing you can do with the reference area. A reference block is a 3D block that we can use to do something like maybe add kitchen cabinets here to the kitchen area. So I'm going to use my reference block and I'm just going to left click hold and drag down here some kitchen cabinets or this block into the area. I think base or uh, cabinets are about two foot six and uh, we're going to go seven foot there. That looks really good. And just take a look at these in 3D. So what you can do with this reference block is, let's say you need to clean the cabinets. Well, I could go search for clean and attach it to this area using this reference block. I can also tell the block to remove the linear foot behind or square foot uh, behind if we don't want to run baseboard behind this area or clean or paint behind the kitchen cabinet. That's why you'd use this behavior to remove the linear foot or square foot behind uh, from your total. And we could also create some upper cabinets here. I can right click and copy, right click and paste these guys. I'm gonna put them out here in the middle of the room so I can work with them real quick here. And I, let's put two foot uppers. I'm gonna tell those cabinets to be, um, let's see, distance from floor. Let's go for do, 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 uh, four foot. Let's see if that'll work. And I can slide those up above my lower cabinets. And look at that in 3D. Might want to go one foot six on those uppers, but you get the idea. We've got the upper cabinets and the lower cabinets there. I can adjust those cabinets upwards if maybe they were higher or lower in the, the wall. But you can also do the same thing. That upper cabinet will act as a area where you can add items such as clean or paint or what have you, or it can remove the square footage below or um, behind or around it. We can also use the reference area in the same way. I could pull in a reference area right here into this pop out of the kitchen and tile this area if I wanted to. You can actually pull back in your price list. I can search for that tile floor there and just drop it right on that area. Same as I said before, we could look for clean, clean the surface area and just drop that on the cabinets or wherever that would be applicable. So that's reference blocks and reference areas and uh, hopefully that will be something that you can use in the future.